Hey everybody, Jason at Direct Pro Audio again. Uh, today we're going to talk about something that's really misunderstood. I'm going to demystify it for you. I'm not going to get real scientific. I'm not going to blow your head up with stuff that you can't understand or stuff that I can't understand either. But what we're going to talk about today is ohms. So basically, why do you need to know about it? Why do you care what an ohm is? I'm standing in front of a PV uh, speaker. It's one of their new PVX15s. It is your typical 15-inch two-way, meaning it's got a woofer and it's got a compression driver. That yields me an 8-ohm load. So, I'm going to go to our whiteboard here, and we've got the number 8, and you'll see that funny little omega sign. Okay, that's ohms. Now, people always call us and ask us, how many speakers can I run on each channel of my amplifier? So, if you've got your amplifier up here, and you're going to want to go to one 15 inch two way speaker. You look on the back of your speaker and right where you plug in, it's going to tell you eight or four ohms. Typically, if a speaker has just one woofer and just one tweeter, that's going to be eight. Now here's where you got to do some math. Uh, if you want to add another speaker to this one channel of the amplifier, so either your right channel or channel two, Let's going to add another one here. So let's say we added another PVX15, which also has an 8 ohm load. If we take 8 plus 8, we have a new yield of 4 ohms. Okay, It's not 8 plus 8 equals 16, it's 8 plus 8 yields 4. The more speakers you plug together, the lower the ohms go, which means that there's less resistance to the flow of energy coming out of your amplifier. It means that your amplifier can supply you with more power. Now, if you had an amplifier that could give you 500 watts of power um, into 8 ohms, if you add another speaker onto that, you can go into your amplifier um, manual and it might say 750. 750 watts at 4 ohms. Now, you'll have 4 ohms up here because you have two speakers on that one side. Now, does each of those speakers get 750 watts? No, it does not. Each speaker gets 750 watts divided by 2. So, you're not getting the, um, although you're increasing the power, you're not increasing the amount that each speaker will get. Up here, if you had a speaker on the left and right channel, each speaker would get 500 watts. Now, you're going to have two on your left channel, two on your right, but it's only going to get half of 750. So the speakers are going to get actually less power than if you ran them just with one speaker on the left and the right. One last thing about ohms that you want to remember. People will tell you that you can take three of these speakers on each channel of an amplifier. So if you go 8 plus 8 plus 8, now you have 2 ohms, but you'll notice when you look on the back of your speaker that it says 8 ohm nominal. That's a word for normal. That means at room temperature. As soon as you plug in speaker after speaker after speaker, or even just one speaker, and you run it for a number of hours, all of the components inside are going to heat up, and what that does to the ohm level is it drops. So, if you take an 8 ohm speaker and an 8 ohm speaker and an 8 ohm speaker and plug it into an amplifier which says it is 2 ohm capable, that's great until you put power through it. Because as soon as you put power into it, your ohms are going to drop and your amplifier is going to get closer and closer to clipping. That little red nasty light which says, I'm either going to shut down as the amplifier because I'm getting too hot, or you might hear your speaker start to get distorted and nasty. So there is your ohm lesson for the day. One other question that we're asked all the time, real quickly here, you probably have already figured this out by what you're seeing up here, but people say to me, look, I've just bought this speaker right here that has two woofers and a compression driver. This is typically a 4 ohm box. Do not plug two 4 ohm boxes on channel 1 and two 4 ohm boxes on channel 2. No good. Bad cop. No donut. Don't do that. 
This is Jason with Direct Pro Audio. Hoping this has been useful. Have a good day.